Well, I grew up on Long Island um, and basically was uh, interested in musical theater since I was uh, a little kid. My parents happened to be friendly with a gentleman named George Kleinsinger, who was a composer, and he had written um, what we would now call a concept album um, back in the 50s called Archie and Mehitabel, which he was turning into a musical um, when they first met him. And um, that musical was uh, uh, eventually premiered on Broadway. And while he was working on the musical, um, he would play songs from it for um, friends. And I would sort of sit over on the, the side and listen and then go to his piano and try and pick out the songs. And he suggested to my parents that maybe I had some musical ability and maybe they should get me a piano. So they did. And uh, a couple of years later, they took me to see the show, which was called Shinbone Alley. Um, it's a show about uh, a cockroach uh, named Archie who falls in love with an alley cat named Mehitabel, and many of the um, cast members were portraying cats. So it was a little bit ahead of its time. And <laughs> didn't actually succeed, but that's when, um, you should pardon the pun, I sort of got the theater bug and uh, <laughs> I really didn't set, plan to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just slipped out. Did you collect the, 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 the I, I was going to say CDs. Did you collect the LPs and study them over and memorize them? Yeah, my folks, had, my folks had them, and I, I listened to them over and over again. I used to go to the library and take out the scripts for musicals that I hadn't seen, and I would actually put, the, put them up at the piano and when I was supposed to be practicing and um, look at the lyrics and, and write other tunes to them. And then I would go and get <laughs> get this, the, the, the cast albums and, and hear what the real tunes were. And so often I felt, you know, I was, had done much, much better. <laughs> <laughs>